Just make a just make a drop a knife into the deer bar. Here? No, but you. <laughs> that shit is sharp. Dude. You got one out with that one there. How the fuck do you lose it? Like what is this, an alligator tooth? Hopefully we killed something so we can put this thing into the theater tonight. Dude, thanks man. No problem. Next time clean your arm hair up a little bit. What's going on? I know I look no different. I just realized this is the same hoodie you guys saw me in a couple weeks ago. But here we have another deer, another buck, tagged out. I would say he's an eight pointer, but he's legally a seven. He broke off right here. But what I'm bringing to you today, it's not going to be a cleaning video, but my buddy here, Rupert, got me a, a amazing gift, uh, their meat for dinner edition, silver stag knives. So basically this video is a review on these knives. I'm going to use these knives, clean the deer with just these two knives. And I'll give you my review on the knives when I'm done. So enjoy this time lapse. I wasn't able to record anything. It's not that I didn't have the GoPro. If you check out my Instagram and the pictures, I had the GoPro on the bow and everything. I just heard this deer coming out from the distance and it wasn't in me to go and press record or turn it on or anything. And, you know, it was just that spur of the moment. But if you would like a sit down type podcast something, please leave in the comments below or give me a thumbs up to let me know that you're interested in wanting to know, like, what happened. I have no problem sitting down there with Rupa and we could definitely, like, try to make it detailed enough that you could visualize how this hunt happened this is my biggest buck yet and i still can't believe i got it done another thing i wanted to mention that i didn't mention was that the only flaw i found in these knives was that the gut hook on the bigger knife could have been sharpened it just came out of the box dull it was hard to work with but other than that these are great knives laid out in pieces Ready to go to the taxidermist. Now, as you saw, we uh, we had to use the sawzall for the bone. Other than that, I used both of these knives. And um, they're pretty good. I had to stop a few times to just sharpen them back up, put that blade back on there. But other than that, these knives are a little overpriced. But they're custom made. Got the American mic on them and everything. But they're meat for dinner. Silver stag knives. Awesome knives. Definitely would recommend them to anybody. But here is the uh, the harvest of my permit bow buck. And uh, it was a great hunt. I'm sad I didn't get to film any of this. I, I, you know, the buck got the best of me. I wasn't able to turn on the GoPro and record the shot or anything like that. But uh, it was a my best hunt, my best buck. It, it's... It's one for the books. It's another story to tell. And I had my, my boy Rupa there with me. And if it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have found the, the, the deer because he was he was like a dog on the blood. He found the blood and he tracked it and he found it. So definitely got to say thanks to my boy Rupa. No problem, anytime. Thanks for finding my book and thanks for the knives. But uh, that's it. Great knives. Check them out. Well, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know this was a very short clip. 
I do have to announce that this would be the last video I'm posting on YouTube for 2020. Hope all is well and see you guys in 2021.